Praise the Lord. Brethren, good morning. Uh, greetings in the name of Jesus. I don't know what to say this morning, but I want to tell you something. The things are very moving very fast in the world. God is showing me things in my spirit realm, which I really cannot explain. But I want to tell you something. What is happening in our world today? Jesus Christ is coming very soon. The rapture will take place very soon because the world is about to receive the mark of 666. You know, these people who are doing this thing think the world, people in the world are stupid. But people that are not stupid in this world, they know exactly what is happening. COVID-19 is something, has something to do with the mark of the beast. 666. And very soon in America, the military will start to go house to house. They call it the injection. It's not just an injection. It's the implanting a chip in your hand. In your hand. You know why? Man has become a human machine. Because with the 5G radiation they have today, it's affecting the body cells of human and causing sickness in the human body so to, to continue with 5g and to continue with this kind of technology you have to implant the chip in human so you'll be a human human machine walking around and with that in the book of revelation the scripture is about to be fulfilled it says no man will be able to buy or sell unless he receive the mark of the beast 666 my friends, why I'm telling you this, I'm not scared. I'm not afraid of anyone. I want to tell you something. And that means the rapture is very close. Very soon, you'll be forced to receive the mark. The military will take control. They're saying as an injection. It's not an injection. Everyone will receive the mark of the beast, 666. They will start that very soon. I've been getting that vision in my spirit realm. It will start very soon. That means the coming of the Lord is very near. The scriptures has been fulfilled. Scripture are fulfilling right in front of our very eyes. We are a very fortunate generation. I can amaze, I'm amazed to see that we are living in the last days and all these things are fulfilling in front of our eyes. Everything what I'm seeing is coming to pass. Please look at my message signs of the times part three everything i said in that message is coming to pass and this is the final one i'm saying today with the mark of the beast it will be forced on people through the military power the military will take the streets especially in new york city they will start their force and every home they will enter every home and give you the mark and when you get the mark you cut off from god because that's the mark of the beast 666. That means the coming of the Lord is very near. The rapture is very, 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 very near. Praise the Lord. This morning, let's continue. Feast day, Pentecostal feast day is the 31st of this month. Uh, that's a Sunday coming. And praise the Lord. Feast day is coming. And day of Pentecost, almost 2,000 years ago, when the Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit came on the day of Pentecost. And the 120 re re received the Holy Spirit fire on the head. And I tell you, I want to believe that Sunday coming, praise the Lord, there will be a great outpouring of the Holy Spirit. A move of God you never see before. And this is the wrap up time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My study today is hungry for mercy. Hungry for mercy. And indeed, we need mercy. I'm smiling. You say, Pastor, you're smiling. What's going on in the world? But we need mercy. We have to be hungry for mercy for what is happening in our world today. Hungry for mercy. Father God, we give you, let's pray. Father God, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you chance. We thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy and your great concern. 
and the working of the Holy Spirit. Uh, I pray, God, even now, you touch me from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Uh, touch my brains, my mind, my intellect, my memory bank, my thought process. Uh, I pray, God, for fresh oil and fresh anointing and fresh uh, moving of the Holy Spirit uh, upon my life. Anoint your words uh, to my lips, O oh, Father, as I minister, as I teach your words, that your words will go forth uh, under the anointing and power of the Holy Spirit, uh, that many will be healed, many will be blessed, many will be saved, many will be delivered, many will be set free, many will be encouraged from your word, O oh, Father. I thank you for your grace and your love and your mercy. Continue to reveal your truths to me, O oh, Father, as I deliver unto thy people in these very last days. I ask it in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Hungry for mercy. Hallelujah. Hungry for mercy. Joel, the prophet Joel, in Joel chapter 2, verse 12 tells us, Even now, declare the Lord, return to me with all your heart and with fasting and weeping and mourning. Even now, declare the Lord, return to me with all your heart and with fasting and weeping and mourning. Do you know what it's like to be so troubled that you are so loose, that you lose your appetite, my friends? A loved one dies, you're so devastated that you can't eat much or sleep well. Your marriage collapses and food loses its taste for you. You, you, you lose your job or business and you are so upset to follow your regular pattern of meals. Food is a part of a normal routine. But in, in times of crisis, oh, in times of crisis, like what's happening in the world today, the normal routine collapses and food doesn't seem to matter. Oh, my friends, many of us have lost interest in food for a while when something went wrong. But have not, but but you ever stop eating because you yourself were terribly wrong? Have you ever felt so sick about what you what you've done? So shame of your wrongdoings, so fearful of the consequences that you don't feel like eating? Have you been so eager to for forgiveness or so desperate for God to give you a fresh start? So hungry for mercy? Are you hungry for mercy this morning? mercy and grace right now we asking god for mercy in our world oh that look that that you lost your hungry for food have you ever stopped in your tracks halted business as usual business is halted in our world today as as usual and you ever skip me times in order to seek mercy and you want to seek mercy have you ever stopped to seek mercy. Fasting is a way of acknowledging that sin is serious and that we yearn for God's mercy more than we want our next meal. Yes, that's happening. That will happen soon, my friends. We will long for mercy than to having a next meal. Fasting is a way of saying that, it, that in order to survive, we need God's forgiving and transforming grace more than ever, more than, more than we need food. Yes, my friends. I think it's coming, oh, when the military will come house to house uh, and force you to, reach, reach, to take the mark of the beast. Uh, oh, are you hungry for food this morning? What will you do? Will you refuse the mark? Uh, if you refuse the mark, they're going to kill you. you. What will you do, my friends? Uh, God save us from sin by means of repentance uh, and faith in Jesus. Uh, repentance is more than feeling bad uh, or saying, I'm sorry. Repentance is more than a tougher, a thought in the mind of an emotion in the heart. Uh, repentance is hating sin and an almost uh, physical looting and repentance is turning away from sin in order to find satisfaction in God. Do you want satisfaction in God? The Antichrist spirit uh, has taken over the world today. Do you need satisfaction from God? Do you need the mercy of God? The Holy Spirit, the, the Holy Spirit will come in the fullness of this sort uh, to bombard the work of darkness very soon. But the work of darkness uh, is the highest pitch in our world today. The work of darkness, uh, Satan, work of darkness uh, is at the highest pitch uh, taking over the world today. But I want to tell you, be not afraid. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind, my friends. Uh, and God, the Holy Spirit, uh, is coming soon to bombard the works of Satan. My friends, don't be afraid. 
God will not allow, allow his children to go through that great persecution which is about to start. Uh, I told you 2021, but it looks as though it started to start the same year. Yes, my friends, uh, it looks as though time is heating up so fast. Uh, oh, we cannot keep track. Uh, oh, we cannot keep trace. Uh, oh, the time is heating up so fast. Uh, it looks as though it will start uh, before next year. Yes, my friends. Uh, yes, uh, hallelujah. Oh, I'm repenting. Repentance is turning away from sin in order to find satisfaction in God. Repent this morning and get your life ready with God. Fasting, expressing and strengthens this looting, looting for sin and a longing for new life. There are other occasions, yes my friends, and purpose for fasting that we talk about on other programs. Yes my friends, but today, today I'm speaking about in this study is about fasting. To show repentance and seek mercy. Yes, uh, fasting is about repentance and seek mercy. Repent for the coming of the Lord is near. Yes, uh, repent, uh, repent, uh, repent for the coming of the Lord is near. And seek His mercy and seek His grace. Uh, God will overshadow you. God will build a hedge around your life. Uh, the Bible tells of an individual and religious communities, uh, an entire nation who interrupted business uh, as usual and abstained from food. When they realize how much more, how much they have offended God and provoke his judgment uh, and provoke his judgment. They were so hungry for mercy that they're hungry for food. Then it seems to matter. They fasted as a physical expression of spiritual food, anguish and longing. Fasting helped them in the path of new life and fasting can help us on the path of new life. Fasting can help you in the path of new life. My friends, it's time to take a turn around. It's time to make a new turn this morning. It's time to turn. It's a turning point in your life. If God be God, serve Him. And if Baal be God, serve Him. If the Antichrist be God, serve Him. And if God, the true and living God, be God, serve Him. You have a choice, my friends. We all have a choice, uh, and it's coming very soon. We have to make the choice uh, whether we're going to take the mark of the beast uh, and serve the devil, or whether we're going to live for God and make the sacrifice to go with him. Hallelujah. Yes, my friend, Saul of Tarsus was a, was a proud Pharisee. He hated Christians and hunted them down in order to kill or in, imprison them. But when Jesus appeared to Saul, in a, in, a, in a blinding light uh, and stop him in his tracks. Uh, oh, the light of Christ uh, saw, saw Jesus' glory and saw his own evil. Yes, uh, Saul saw his glory and oh, Saul saw the, the, the Lord's glory and his own evil. And I pray to God today that many presidents in this world will see their evil and will see their own evil and see the glory of God and turn, make a U turn in the right track. Uh, will not take advice from the wrong people like Bill Gates uh, and the rest of them. Oh, who want to control this world? Are you not seeing presidents uh, of the superpower? What is happening? Oh, they're trying. Oh, they hope they not be like Saul of Tarsus. Uh, oh, they hope they not be like Saul when the bright glory light uh, shine and blinded their eyes. Uh, yes, my friends. Uh, Saul saw Jesus' glory and saw his own evil. In fact, uh, that all Saul could see for a while, three days he was blind and did not eat or drink anything. In the book of Acts chapter 9 verse 9, there was a turning point uh, in Saul's life. Uh, it can be a turning point uh, in your life, my friends. Uh, oh, what you want to see, you want God to strike you with the light of God or you want God to open up your eyes. Uh, there are many prophets in the world today who are speaking to you presidents of superpower they're speaking to you and tell you to open up your mind open your power take advice from the right prophets take advice from the right people of God and know what's happening oh know what's happening you're blind to what is happening you're not seeing what is happening oh the antichrist uh, this uh, the devil the devil is trying to take over this world yes sir uh, during those three days when Saul eyes saw nothing and his mouth eat nothing his heart was hungry for mercy I say his heart was hungry for mercy men of power do your heart hungry for mercy his guilt was uh, was an evil hit his guilt evil hit him with full force yes his evil guilt hit him with full force this is your evil guilt are hitting you with full force today he was eager to leave his old ways and start fresh are you willing to leave your old ways and start afresh today instead of eating he prayed after three days of, of this 
the Lord restore soul vision, oh vision and revive a spirit. Many vision need to be restored today. Many spirit need to be revived today. Oh soul vision and re and revive a spirit. Saul became the apostle Paul and preached the gospel to many nations. Yes, my friend, there was a transformation in his life. Saul used to kill many Christians and persecute many Christians and do all manner of evil for Christians and that is what is happening today in our world many will many will be persecuted many Christians will be persecuted by the superpowers of our of many nations many will be persecuted many will be forced to take the mark of the beast of the Antichrist mark 666 the military power will take the streets and hit at every door and make sure they go into every house and inject every Every person with the mark of the beast, uh, there is something like a chip in that in that injection. Oh, and you're planted in your hands, uh, and oh, you do become a human machine. Yes, my friends, uh, that will happen very soon. The apostle, the story of the Paul encounter with Christ. Yes, my friends, uh, oh Paul, Paul encounter with Christ. Uh, yes, uh, it's often told to show that a person encounter with Christ. Uh, leads to repentance and new life. Yes, it leads to repentance and new life. However, we often ignore Paul's three-day fasting. We ignore the biblical connection between fasting and repentance. Was Paul fasting just a minor detail about his conversion? No, repentance and fasting go together, my friends. Yes, repentance and fasting go together. What God has joined together, let us not separate. Oh, there are many false prophets in the world today. False prophets uh, led by the Antichrist spirit uh, are leading great men to, to corruption. Yes, so many false prophets in our world today are leading men to great men of nations to corruption. Yes, what God has joined together. Yes, my friends, uh, no repentance and fasting go together. What God has joined together, let no, no man separate my friends today. Paul fasted at the turning point of his life and, and fasting can be part of the turning point for you. If you hunger for God, mercy. I says if you hunger for God, mercy, then fast and pray as Paul did. Fast and pray as Paul did did my friends uh, the Bible speaks of a day of reckoning yes the day of reckoning is coming the day of the Lord when we must face God in all his power and purity yes we have to face God in all his power and purity when he got to burst the clouds and come up on the sort uh, oh when God confronts us uh, who is uh, who is uh, who is a uh, sinful and holy enough uh, to deserve his approval none of us my friends uh, who is strong enough to resist uh, his power nobody if God comes and we have not yet repented or from forgiveness uh, we are we are doomed we are doomed oh you don't want to be doomed today what hope is there for us? Uh, oh, the prophet Joel writes, uh, the prophet Joel writes, uh, yes, uh, the day of the Lord is greater. The day of the Lord is greater. It is dreadful. Who can endure it? Uh, who can endure the day? Even now declares the Lord, return with me with all your heart uh, and with, uh, with fasting and weeping and mourning. Rend your heart. Uh, return to the Lord your God for he is gracious uh, and compassionate. Uh, slow to anger and abounding in love and he relents uh, from lending uh, from sending calamity yes calamity is coming who knows uh, he may turn up and have pity and leave behind a blessing yes joel chapter 2 verse 11 to 14 god's judgment is terrible my friends uh, i repeat that god's judgment is terrible but his great mercy is greater his mercy is greater if we go through life uh, ignoring the coming judgment the Lord will not spare us. I says the Lord will not spare us. We will be punished forever in the fire of hell. We will be punished forever in the fire of hell. If God warning shake us up, stop us in our tracks. Oh God is talking to us to stop in our tracks today. Stop in our tracks today. We had the fire of hell is real. The worm died not. Oh, the worm died not, uh, and the fire quenched not, uh, my friends. Uh, oh, my friends, uh, I'm warning you today. If God warning, shake up us, uh, oh, stop us uh, in our track. Uh, God word is stopping many in their tracks. Uh, all the false prophets, uh, all the first people who are leading superpower president, 
to do the wrong thing you have to stop what your track today yes and turn around and you may take his uh, his mercy and the love God is willing to show his mercy and the love upon many nations uh, oh many nations uh, oh no matter how bad uh, you've been no matter how far you've gone down to the path of hell it's not too late. It's not too late, my friends, for you. It's not too late, for my friends, for you. Even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart. God says, return to me or with all your heart. Those who are professing to be Christians need to be filled with the Holy Spirit and let the Holy Spirit advise you and let the Holy Spirit lead you and other false prophets lead you to do madness and chaos into this world and cause many people to go into hell oh yes my friends yes to all who repent and turn to god with fasting and faith in in, in the savior god promised in the book of joel i will pour out my spirit and, and everyone who calls on the name of the lord will be saved in joel chapter 2 verse 28 and 32 be, believe God's warning believe God's warning today and accept his promise admit your sinfulness I say admit your sinfulness set your heart on his promise of salvation through Jesus Christ though and a new life through the Holy Spirit my friends return to him with fasting return to him with fasting no more business as usual oh no more business as usual they says no more business as usual Stop eating for a while. It may turn to, to be for 24 hours. It may be for a few days. But stop eating and start hungering for God's mercy. Hunger for God's mercy. The Lord who saved Paul by his amazing grace can save you today, my friends. Oh, can save you today, my friends. As Paul wrote after Jesus saved him, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I'm the worst. Oh, yes, in 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 16 yes my friends uh, let's uh, oh today we have the amazing grace uh, in the world today amazing grace uh, the bible the book of jo jonah tells us amazing story of fasting followed by mercy fasting followed by mercy Nineveh was uh, the strongest city in the world. Nineveh was the strongest city in the world. Today we have New York City is the strongest city in the world. But its evil sank into the high heavens. Its evil sank to the highest heaven. New York City sank to the highest heaven. The city was headed towards a day of judgment. Nineveh was headed to the day of judgment. New York is heading for the day of judgment. Nineveh was the capital city of a Syria empire. New York is the capital city of America. Nineveh was full of idols and worship and witchcraft. New York is full of idols and worship of witchcraft. It was perverted and immoral. The people of Nineveh was, was harsh and violent towards each other. Oh yes, and they were cruel to other nations. The empire headed by Nineveh invaded and plundered, tor tortured and burn, massacre, and enslave entire cities and nation. Nineveh was so aggressive and violent that it was called a city of blood. Yes, my friends, but my friends, New York City is not called a city of blood. It is called a city of gays and lawlessness. Yes, oh yes, my friends, yes, God decided to put up with Nineveh evil any longer. He sent the prophet, the prophet Jonah to Nineveh and Jonah preached the message of doom. Jonah preached the message of doom. Yes, sir. Repent and turn from your wicked ways and God will heal your land and God will give you grace. At least a few years of grace. Yes, a few years of grace. He proclaimed 40 more days and Nineveh will be overturned. 40 more days and Nineveh will be overturned. 40 more days and Nineveh will be overturned. I don't want to say it here. Nineveh, believe God, they declared a fast and all of them from the greatest to the least put on sackcloth and calling on nations to turn from your ways. Oh, in 40 days time, oh, repent and make a turnaround and believe God and declare a fast 
and the fast and, and put on sackcloth and pray and act and repent and God will save your city. Then the news which the king of Nineveh he rose with his, his, his to rose from his throne took off his royal robe. Are you hearing me today? Oh, when the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne. Do you want to rose rise from your throne? He took off his royal robe, covered himself with sackcloth and sat down in the dust. Oh, many, many are so proud and haughty in this year and in this time, in this era, in this generation. Oh, high technology. Man is so proud and so proud that he cannot do those things. He issued a proclamation in Nineveh. Yes, sir. He issued a proclamation in Nineveh. Oh, but by the decree of the king and his nobles, do not let any man or beast hear what he says. Do not let any man or beast, horde or flock, taste anything. Do not let them eat or drink. But let, let, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth. Let everyone, every, everyone call urgently on God. Let him give, let them give up their evil ways. Let them give up their evil ways and their violence. Who knows? God may yet relent with compassion, turn his fierce anger so that they, that will, they will not perish. Stuff turn his fierce anger that they will not perish. Oh, do you want human machine? Human machine, my friends. Oh, yes. When God saw that they, what they did and how they had torn from the evil ways, he had compromised and did not bring them. Oh, the destruction he had threatened. No, he did not bring them the destruction he has threatened. He changed his mind. Jonah 3, 4, 10. Oh, God had grace and mercy and compassion upon them. The important thing that they did important thing Nineveh did, 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 did was repent, repent, oh I call for nations to repent, I call for the world to repent, repent and turn from your wicked ways and seek the face of God, he says if my people who are called by my name shall turn from their wicked ways and forsake their sins, God will hear their land, God will heal their land, yes, abstaining from food and abstaining from fine clothing, well, that's important when they're really uh, being sorry and seeking to change. But, but, uh, but body and soul are not separated. Oh, they're fasting. Oh, was the, 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 the bodily expression of the spiritual change of heart. Uh, a grieving spirit. Uh, oh, does not pray. Pray heartily. Repentance and fasting go together, my friends. Uh, yes, repentance and fasting goes together. The people of Nineveh repented and fasted. And God forgive them. I repeat that today. The people of Nineveh repented and fasted. And God forgive them. All the false prophets around the president today. All the false preachers around the president today. All the false advisors around the president today. Ask them to leave in the name of Jesus. And seek God. And oh God, you will help the nations today. Yes, my friends. How badly do you need forgiveness? How badly do you need forgiveness today? How much do you want it today? How desperate are you for God to have compassion on you? How desperate are you for God to have compassion on you? Are you really hungry for mercy? Are you really hungry for mercy? Are you really hungry for mercy? Don't just, uh, oh, don't just talk about it. Uh, prove it today, my friends. Uh, prove it today, my friends. Uh, don't be distracted by parties or even by regular meal times. Uh, commit yourself to time of fasting. To express your sorrow for the sins and your longing for God's mercy and forgiveness and new life today. As you do this, trust the Lord and pray in faith. Trust the Lord and pray in faith. A broken and contrite heart, oh God, will not God will not despise a broken and contrite heart. Will God God will not despise? Yes, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise. Yes, my friends, fasting after conversion. Yes, uh, fasting is to seek forgiveness uh, and renewal is valuable if you are coming to know Christ uh, for the very first time. I know there are many coming to know Christ uh, for the first time, but I want to tell you fasting or to seek forgiveness uh, and renewal is valuable if you are coming to know Jesus Christ uh, for the first time, my friends. Uh, and ever after you have put your faith uh, in Jesus, uh, there will still be times uh, when you fast uh, to repent of sin and seek mercy. Yes, and seek mercy. Fasting is valuable. 
not just at the time of conversion, but also after. Yes, my friends, uh, oh, God commanded the Israelites uh, of the Old Testament to set one day, each one, one day each, uh, at the Day of Atonement, uh, Yom Kippur in Hebrew, the priests will offer sacrifice for the sins of the people, pointing towards the final sacrifice of Jesus uh, to remove sin, my friends, uh, on this annual Day of Atonement. Uh, God commanded you, oh, must deny yourselves, uh, in the book of Leviticus, uh, some form of fasting for self-denial was a vital part of seeking atonement uh, for sin and restoring a relationship with God. Are you ready to restore your relationship with God this morning, my friends, uh, and seek atonement for sin this morning? Are you ready to seek atonement for sin and restoring your relationship with God this morning, my friends? Uh, with the coming of Jesus uh, and the new covenant, uh, animal sacrifice are no longer needed. And a set day every year of, of the feast uh, and seek God's mercy is no longer, no longer required. But uh, the principle remains, the principle remains, my, I said, my friends, uh, and from time to time, it's healthy to fast uh, and seek God's mercy with special intensity, especially on occasions when the guilt uh, of a part of the sin weighs you down. Yes, my friends, uh, is there a spark of the sin weighing you down this morning? Hallelujah. Maybe you're thinking, I'm not going to beg for mercy or go without food. It is uncomfortable to go without food. It's a, and it's a de degrading to, so to say, I'm a guilty sinner. It's basically a good person. I'm a good person. I'm not going to let anybody make me feel bad. Oh, I'm not going to make anybody make me feel bad. But beware of thinking you're okay the way you are and never need to humble yourself before God. I say humble yourself before God this morning. The Bible says that if we say we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and make make and make God out to be a liar. Are you trying to make God a liar, my friends? And say you have no sin this morning. First John, first John 1 8 8 10 this morning. We'll never be right with God as long. We do that, my friends. Humble yourself this morning in the name of Jesus. But if you come to the Lord humbly and hungrily, He will welcome us in love and make us fit for fellowship with Him. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness, my friends. Yes, God is able to, to purify us from all unrighteousness. In 1 John 1, 9, O oh, the blood of Jesus, the Son purifies us from all sin. 1 John 1, 5, so whether you are coming to Christ for the first time and need a lifetime of sin taken away, my friends, or whether you are a long time follower of Jesus who still need forgiveness and cleansing on a regular basis. God's mercy, I says God's mercy is here for the axing. Fasting is a way to act with special intensity this morning. Yes, my friends, who oh, are you ready seeking mercy over oh, others? Seek, I'm seeking mercy for others this morning. Sometimes the mercy, the hunger for mercy involves not just uh, oh, oneself uh, as an individual, but an entire group of people. I'm hungry for my heart, uh, oh, for mercy for many people in the world to make the right decision for my heart this morning. I'm hungry for many leaders of our world to make the right decision, oh, to make the right decision. Yes, my friends, uh, hungry for it. Uh, yes, my friends, uh, for mercy involves not oneself uh, as individual, but an entire group of people, entire nation, entire country, my friends. Uh, if you're part of a social congregation, as a strong in faith and holiness, uh, but not uh, but, but but now families uh, are falling apart, uh, nations are falling apart, uh, people are falling apart, uh, lust and greed and quarrels uh, and false teaching are piling up. Uh, yes, I say false teachings uh, are piling up. Uh, yes, my friends, uh, they are piling up, uh, and congregation may be, te may be testing God's judgment, uh, may be tasting God's judgment. Many countries will taste God's judgment very soon. Perhaps your whole congregation or lay out to set a time for fasting and prayer. But there is no church right now. You have to fast and pray in your home. Perhaps the leaders can call for special time of fasting. 
for all the churches and all the nations, yes, leaders of many countries to start fasting and call for leaders for a special time of fasting and prayer for nations today, my friends, even, but even if these leaders don't see any need for this, even if the congregation and leaders as a whole is still at buggery this morning with the sleep, the sleep of sin, you yourself can still call, can still fast and plead for God to forgive those sins and bring the nation back to him bring the nation back to him when a nation or a dumb, uh, when a nation needs revival and transformation it might not start with everybody seeking the light at once it might start with just one person or a handful of person who seek who see the sin for that is and long for God's truth and love to shine brightly again my friends if you truly love your country or if you truly love your country then go to God with fasting and prayer I say this Mr. President if you truly love your country uh, go to God with fasting and prayer Mr. President of the United States of America if you truly love America go to fasting with your leaders uh, and prayer for the nation ask God to have mercy and turn things around yes ask God to have mercy and turns things around you're heading on the wrong course you're heading in the wrong direction yes sir in the name of Jesus this is the word of God this morning this is the word of God some oh some countries some nation or oh, people alarmed at bad developments uh, in the nation or, or the, in the nation yes my friends uh, having become activists uh, and lobbyists uh, or they, they start new groups uh, and publications to fight on godly trends uh, on godly trends uh, but they try to mobilize the voter of brain political strength uh, to gain political strength yes sir, many want to gain political strength but they do not care about the people they just want power and position yes sir, they just want power and position they don't care about the people and they want to just gain political strength for the cause of or right yes sometimes this kind of activism is right or even our duty yes my friends but it's not enough lobbying other people is not an important lobbying but as lobbying God putting forth your own efforts to make a difference is not as powerful as calling upon the name of God. Yes, my friends, stop lobbying and calling upon the name of the Lord. Stop making your own decision and what you think is right uh, and calling upon the name of the Lord for direction. God, Holy Spirit, uh, want you to give direction. Yes, my friends, uh, if uh, in a country oh, has come under God's judgment uh, like Nineveh, oh, all activity, activities will come for little. If those activities do not include fasting and prayer for God to withdraw his judgment and pour out mercy and transformation. Yes, God want to pour out mercy and transformation in nations around the world today yes my friends uh, sometimes we seek God mercy not just for ourselves uh, as individual but the larger people of our nations uh, around the world of which we are part my friends uh, in the time of Moses the Israelite people sinned against God by making a golden calf to worship uh, uh, God told Moses that he was angry enough to destroy them all. But what did Moses do in response to God's anger? I say, what did Moses did in response to God's anger? Are you hearing me, my friends, this morning? Are you hearing me, people, this morning? As Moses later told the people, I fought prostrate before the Lord for 40 days and 40 nights. I eat no bread and drink no water because of all the sin you have committed doing what was evil in the Lord's sight and so provoking him to anger I fear the Lord and wrath of the Lord for he was angry enough with you to destroy you for he was angry enough with you to destroy you my friends hallelujah God told Moses he was angry with them enough to destroy them all. What did Moses do in this in response, my friend, to God's anger? As Moses later told the people, I felt prostrate before the Lord for 40 days and 40 nights. I ate no bread and drank no water because of all the sin you had committed. Or oh, doing what was evil in the Lord's sight and so provoking him to anger. Oh, they were provoking the Lord to anger, my friends. They were provoking the Lord to anger. I feared anger and wrath of the Lord. 
for he was angry enough uh, look, with you to destroy you. He was angry with them enough uh, to destroy them. But here, but again, the Lord listened to me. Oh, in Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 18 and 19. And now this 40 days fast uh, was a supernatural fast. Uh, I say that 40 days fast uh, was a supernatural fast uh, in which God miraculously keep Moses alive without food and water. And none of us uh, should go completely without food, water and drink. Uh, oh, for such a long time, my friends. Uh, but the principle remains uh, that at a time of terrible sin and desperate need for mercy, it was a time of desperate sin by the people and need for mercy. Fasting accompanies prayer for pardon. Yes, fasting accompanies prayers for pardon. And one person intercede can make a difference for many. Yes, one person intercede can make a difference for many, my friends. A nation and a civilization that persistently offends God. Yes, a nation and civilization that persistently offends God will feel the heavy hand of judgment. I say it will feel the heavy hand of judgment. Relationship will fall apart. Well, to become uncertainty, uncertain or decay. Disease will spread. Disease will spread. Wars and acts of terror will increase. Children will be aborted or neglected. Depression, oh, and despair will become more common if that society that pretends it is all normal and plunge ahead with business as usual. My friends, it is not business as usual anymore it's not business as usual the world is heading for destruction or oh, the world is preparing for the antichrist marker the misery or oh, the misery or oh, the misery will, will not flow worse will flow worse or oh, god or oh, god may send a calamity also oh, terrible that is the nations of the world and its people vanish from this order yes the people will vanish because uh, that will happen a terrible thing will come think about your country as if people are faithful to God, is your people faithful to God for the most part? Or is there evidence of God's favor? Or do you see signs of judgment and the shadow of death looming, my friends? If you love your country and love the Lord Jesus, do you ever fast and pray for God to have mercy on your nation? Do you ever fast and pray for God to have mercy upon your nation? Do you ever hungry and plead for God to transfer society before it's too late? Or oh, the trans 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 transcension or oh, transform transformation of society before it is too late my friends nations are the only ones in danger of judgment many many nations yes my friends not one nations but many nations are in judgment provoking God and getting closer to the point of no return oh my friends many nations and entire society are losing the truth of which they are refounded or oh, are losing the joyous love of the Lord which once born brightly or are slating into the sin and provoking approving things that God abhor my friends or are you drowsy or dead bits this morning who have lost energy and life that once that, that had through the Holy Spirit that once you had through the Holy Spirit are you lukewarm this morning and complacent oh the Bible tells us in the book of Revelation if you're lukewarm God will spew you out of his mouth oh lukewarm and complacent the book of Revelation Jesus speaks of those problems in various churches and he doesn't just express uh, mild disapproval my friends uh, Jesus warns of judgment uh, on nations and churches uh, that don't change uh, Jesus says such things uh, as if you do not repent uh, I will come and remove your lampstand from its place uh, in Revelation 2 5 repent uh, repent uh, or I will soon come to you and fight against them with the sword of my mouth uh, if you do not wake up uh, I will come like a thief uh, I am about to split you spit you out of my mouth uh, oh I hear what I'm saying in Revelation 2 16 Revelation 3 3 Revelation 3 16 God is speaking to us this morning my friends uh, what does God what does Jesus see in your your church in, in your country in your nation in your denomination it is a, a flame with love for God my friends or has a love dwindled this morning it is a, it's a faithful to biblical truth this morning or do its doctrine shift uh, by the wind this morning all the families sold solid and the people 
holy. Oh, my friends, uh, all of individuals uh, become corrupt uh, and family falling into ruin. A society become corrupt uh, and family falling into ruins. Uh, oh, what is happening? Families fall into rooms, ru falling into ruins, uh, and society has been corrupt. Uh, a man has created Adam and Eve, and now you have gay rights in America. Oh, you have gay, gay marriages uh, and lesbian marriages and all sorts of nonsense uh, and bringing on the wrath of God like Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes, my friends, uh, what is happening? It's alive and growing in grace. Uh, we need the grace of God of how we're having the people become most uh, dead beats uh, and lukewarm, my friends. Uh, I'm not asking you to pass judgment uh, or to be uh, a hollow like you. Oh, just uh, be honest this morning in, in your nations, uh, in your country, what God wants you to do or are you so hungry? Are you in danger of having Jesus uh, to spit you out of his mouth. Uh, God gonna Jesus, uh, the Lord gonna spit nation out of their mouth. Uh, are you hearing what I'm saying this morning? If you don't repent, uh, God gonna spit nations uh, out of his mouth. Uh, that means city will be destroyed completely, like Sodom and Gomorrah. Yes, uh, if you don't repent, my friends, uh, Jesus gonna spit you out of his mouth. Uh, if you if your nation is truly flourishing oh thank god and pray for his blessings many countries will increase but if mostly honestly say oh your nation is in trouble your if your nation is in trouble don't just complain or go on the, the attack against those whom you think are ruining it yes or running it my friends get to don't go and attack those who are running it get on your knees i hear what i'm saying don't attack those who are running the nations oh get on your knees and give up oh some meals Go to God in fasting and prayer, hungry for mercy for your nation, for your country, my friends. Yes, sir. Daniel approach, uh, oh, then we must follow Daniel approach, my friends. Uh, if you want a pattern of for prayer for for your nation, oh, that is testing God's judgment, uh, that is tasting God's judgment. Listen to a prayer. The Bible records in Daniel chapter nine. Daniel was a man of God who was both uh, a prophet uh, and a political leader. Yes, Daniel was a prophet uh, and a political leader. His people has already fallen under God's judgment and were in exile. Yes, they were in exile. But Daniel discovered in the scripture that God has spoken of mercy and of bringing his people back. Oh God, remember, Daniel remember God mercy and God has spoken of bringing his people back. So I turned to the Lord God and plead with him in prayer. Daniel said, petition in fasting and in sackcloth and ashes. I pray to the Lord my God and confess, O oh Lord, the greater and awesome God who keepeth his covenant of love with all who love him and obey his commands. We have sinned and done wrong. We have been wicked and have rebelled. We have torn away from your commands and laws and break your commandments. We have not listened to your servants, the prophets. Lord, you are upright. You are righteous. But this day we are co covered with shame because we have sinned against you your lord our god is merciful and forgiving even though we have rebelled against him we have not obeyed the lord our god therefore the curses have been poured out upon us yes i say the curses have been poured out upon us because you have sinned against you you have filled the words spoken against us and against our rulers by bringing upon us great disaster yes sir you have filled the words of spoken that spoken against us against our rulers by bringing upon us great disaster yet we have not sought the favor of the lord our god by turning from our sins and giving attention oh to your truth we have sinned we have done wrong oh lord in keeping with all your righteous acts Turn away your anger and your wrath. I pray that God will turn away like Daniel. I prayed for nations this morning that God, like Daniel, that God will turn away his wrath and anger for many nations. Give ear, O oh God, and hear, and hear. Open your eyes and see the desolation of the city and bear that there is your name. We do not make requests of you because we are righteous, but because of our great, because of your great mercy. O oh Lord, listen. O oh Lord, forgive. O oh Lord, hear and act. O oh my God, do not delay because our city and our people bear your name. 
Yes, uh, our city and your people bear your name. Oh, my friends, uh, oh, Daniel 9, 3, 19. Daniel was heartbroken. Uh, Daniel was brokenhearted over his people's sin and the disastrous uh, and the disaster that come upon them. Yet he put his hope in God mercy. Yes, Daniel put his hope in God mercy, my friend. Oh, when Daniel spoke of the people's sin, he didn't claim to be perfect, uh, but include himself among the sinners uh, who provoke God. Daniel didn't just use fasting and prayer as a way of twisting God's arm, but coming, but of coming to God, whose arms are already open to welcome people back, whose hand was already open to bless, and who who has already spoken promise of salvation. Yes, my friends. Fasting and prayer of repentance are the way, are the way faith takes hold of what God has already made available in Jesus Christ. Fasting is not the way to punish ourselves and atone for what we have done by making ourselves miserable. The blood of Jesus is the full payment for sin. Fasting, not only an expression of sorrow for sin and hungry for God, not a method of self-inflected punishment, my friends. Various religions oh, promote fasting, but not only fasting based on faith in Jesus cannot be content with God's mercy or oh, connect with God's mercy yes my friends the power to obtain forgiveness is not in fasting the power is in the blood of Jesus I say yes my friends the power is in the blood of Jesus pour out on the cross or oh, to purchase our salvation for his people oh yes my friends fasting does not produce the new life of holiness and love only God holy men can do this my friends only God holy men can do this my friends friends uh, yes uh, God Holy Spirit can do this uh, fasting does not revive a, a nation or, or, or newness uh, or, or renew a nation only the hand of God can do this uh, oh when this is the, when this is the value of fasting fasting and prayer of repentance uh, are God appointed way for sinners to admit uh, oh your own failure and to seek what God what Jesus Christ uh, can give you my friends uh, so trust and obey God when he says return to me return to me return to me with all your heart uh, and with fasting and weeping and mourning and everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved yes my friends uh, God can save your country God can save your nation God can save this world but we have to repent uh, and turn from our turn from our wicked ways he says if my people who are called by my names uh, shall repent uh, and turn from the wicked ways I will heal their land this morning yes God is ready to heal my friends uh, yes God is ready to heal in the mighty name of Jesus uh, oh I thank you for this word this morning and I pray this a wake-up call this morning for nations around the world that you wake up uh, in the name of Jesus uh, God bless you richly. I love you in the love of God. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen.